guys, and welcome to my unboxing updates. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday. If you guys are joining me live, make sure you smash that like. Appreciate you guys so much joining us. Tracy, you are first. Yes, Susie, happy Saturday. Make it make sense. Uh, fashion late to her funeral. I am on the phone. There are things that are happening. It's more BB, uh, YouTube, weird drama, weirdo people. And <laughs> I'm just trying to be like, don't pay the trolls any mind. Sharks don't feed off the algae. Okay. I'm a shark. You're a bottom feeder. I don't have time for it. And I want all my beautiful friends, protect your energy. Don't fall for the bottom feeder bullshit and keep it moving. Yes. Hello, Trey. Hello. All right, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday. No matter what show you've been binging on today, we just got done with the challenge breakdown with Miranda. I'm going to crack myself another Diet Coke for the day. I wanted to come on. Ooh, a little ASMR quickly and um, do a unboxing video. And then I'm headed down to Palm Springs, um, which is not too far from where I am. Um, and doing, doing a couple things. And then uh, I'll be back later and I'll be live tomorrow talking about Big Brother. But feel free to put all your thoughts, hopes, and uh, aspirations in the chat here. So much material out there. <laughs> Tracy. Oh my God. Oh, Bonnie, you fell asleep last night. That's okay. That's okay. You guys smash that like, share it out on your social media. If you don't already follow me on social media at Jolene Lunzer on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram, and you're drinking wine. And Thomas says, I haven't seen your awesome face since high school. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you, Thomas. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining the chat. We are streaming live on Facebook on here on YouTube and also on Twitter. Okay. So the big news is this week, I finally got myself a PO box. So everyone that's been like, Jillian, you need a PO box. And I've been like, I don't know anything about PO boxes. I just don't. And I can't give people my addresses because we know what happens then. There are some weak men out there who uh, want to threaten and come for me. And some of them have been on reality shows previously, allegedly. So um, I got a PO box. And a lot of you guys are amazing and you have products or things that you want to send me. Shout out to uh, Lip Esteem. I love you. I love your products. So um, I'm going to be putting my PO box here. So, ma so many of you have been so generous and you send Nana stuff and you send me stuff and you send my niece and nephew things. The Lean Team is definitely amazing. The Blowjos appreciate you guys so much. So sit back and relax. And I got some Amazon packages from my wish list. Um, so like I said, my PO box is in the description of this video. Mods, feel free to share it in. Um, you are not on. I'm not on YouTube. <laughs> I should be on YouTube. I should be on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't be on YouTube. Uh, let me pull it up and see if I am on YouTube, Missy, because I trust Missy because Missy doesn't steer me wrong. So hopefully I am, in fact, on YouTube. This is like some. What the freak? No, I'm live on YouTube. I'm live. I got myself here. Okay. Yes. I am live on the YouTube. Make sure you smash the like. We got 15 likes. Let's get that up. Okay. So um, the PO box um, is in the description if you guys want to send me something. If you are a business and you want to promote your product, you want me to do a reaction to your product, things like that, this will be a great way now for when I'm hit up for influencer things. I can actually say send it to my PO box. All right. Thank you, Calypso. I appreciate that. Thank you. 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 Okay. So Amazon wish list, you guys, I've been putting a lot of really basic things on there, like basic pumpkin spice Halloween stuff. Cause to me it's spooky season. I don't care. Once it's the end of August, it's spooky season to me. It's pumpkin spice latte all day, every day. I'm probably going to get one again today. All right. And let me know if you guys like these unboxing videos. Um, and I am doing a partnership with Treetopia, which I'm so excited about. So they're going to be sending me out my tree and I have a plan of action for decorating it. I'll be doing videos uh, around that on my YouTube and also on my TikTok. So shout out to Treetopia for making me one of their influencers. I'm so excited. I'm ready for all the collabs because I think it's 
so incredibly fun and I love stuff and I love trees. Okay, so some of you have sent me things from Amazon and uh, I'm gonna open them live here. So every time you guys send me something, uh, we'll do a little fun unboxing video and let me know what you're sipping on in the chat and maybe you'll get a little ASMR for this one. Um, so I'm gonna open, I think I have four packages that I'll be opening. <gasps> oh, this is from Busy Blue. Oh my God, love you friend. Let's never let our friendship end. That is so sweet. I love you, Busy Blue. Protect your energy, Mr. Blue. I'll be calling you after this, um, even though we already talked today. We talk a lot. <laughs> okay, oops, I had some. Uh-oh, Jolene, get back on keto. I got to get back on keto. Trollies, if you want to do a sponsorship, let me know. I got a P.O. box. You can send them to me. Okay, you guys? All right, so Busy Blue, this first gift is from him, and it's from my Amazon wish list, which you can find me and Nana's in the description of this video. I don't want to break this, so we're going to put this box to the side. And we are going to, oh, this is a beautiful candle. It's a Chesapeake Bay mind and body stillness and purity. Because let me tell you, after you've been on YouTube long enough, like I have, you definitely need, I always have a candle lit every time I go live. Uh, the one I have today is a chai latte. It's like my pumpkin spice latte, but it's a chai latte from the famous TJ Maxo. Have you guys heard of the TJ Maxo? Yes, it's a very fancy store. You probably can afford the TJ Maxo. Uh, but this is so good, and this is a rose water smell, and I'm so excited. Oh, ooh, that just, like, takes all the YouTube drama away. Mm, thank you, Busy. I love this candle. I'm going to light. Um, oh, it's nice and cool because it's 115 in the desert today. Um, contrary to popular belief, I live in California, and, um, and not popular, just a couple beliefs. Um, and it's hot, so, oh, it feels good. Feels so good. Thank you, Busy. It smells delicious. I love when they have these beautiful, like, wooden tops on there. And they're just like, don't you just feel classier? It's almost, maybe it brings me back to my time when I used to drink a lot of wine. It's like a cork for your candle. So I'm like uncorking. You guys hear that? Let's do a little ASMR. That's good, right? Kind of a little like I want to say a butthole pop, but I don't know why I want to say that. I don't know why I want to say that. Love you, Busy Blue. Okay, now um, let's go another one from my Amazon wish list. Thank you guys so much. Um, and let's see, I brought my scissors here because a little ASMR on that. Does that do anything for you? <gasps> What's this? What is, oh, you know what? This isn't from you guys. This is my husband. <laughs> this is what my husband ordered off Amazon. I knew eventually <laughs> this would happen because it came addressed to me. But my husband, as a lot of you know, has been going to school and doing a lot of stuff um, in the medical field. He went back to school. And so he's in a CNA program right now. And he's thinking of transitioning whether to RN or or physician assistant type stuff. And they've been saying once he starts doing his clinical hours, he will need compression socks. So Hype Man Husband Chow ordered himself some compression socks for when he is helping people uh, through his CNA work. So there you go. That's, Chow got that for himself, for himself, okay? He got that for himself. So that was not for me. That was not for me, okay? but still proud of my husband in the direction he's going career-wise because he's actually going to be helping people, which is amazing. It's amazing. And the future is very bright. And we love our medical workers and we love our nurses and our doctors and our CNAs and our physician assistants. And, oh, my God, I just looked down at what this is, and I'm so excited. So we are very, 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 very proud in this house of Chell. Of Chell. Yes, King Chell. He's the perfect person because he is just so empathetic and he's so kind and he really wants to uh, make a difference uh, for people that, you know, are sick. And when you're at your most vulnerable time, you really need those kind of people that have big hearts and a lot of empathy and patience. And that's something that my husband has. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to be married to me. We do need more men like Chell in the world, which is why I call out problematic men on my channel, because I really do feel 
I know some. I'm married to one. So why can't you be that way? And I know there's a lot of, lot of unproblematic men out there, but there's a lot of dudes with a lot of problems. And listen, okay, uh, this can't be your therapy, okay? Women can't be your therapy. We're, we can't fix you. We can't help you, sirs. We can't help you. So be more like Chell. Be kind. Rewind your life and figure it out. Get out of your bad spot. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You guys, I think I know what's in this. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. Keep killing it, Jolene, with your amazing, funny AF content. You're looking more radiant than ever. Thanks so much for the laughs from Annie. Thank you, Annie. So, so, so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So as you guys can see, a girl's got big feet, size niners, size niners, and my feet are growing. They're growing. I didn't know your feet like just keep growing like this. So, oh my gosh, this is incredibly kind. And you know me so well, because for those of you who have been following me for a while, now that I'm in the desert, I live in slides. How adorable are these slides? And Adidas slides are the best. They're simply the best. The Adelette is my favorite. I don't even know how that's how you say it, but not the shower sandal, not the comfort one, because that one gets caught when you're walking. These have more of like a firm, hard, but they're still soft enough and comfortable enough. But I feel like they're a real legit strong sandal. You know, as far as slides go, these are my go-to. And how cute is the print with the flowers? Because my other black ones ripped because I wore them so much. And so I went to the TJ Maxx, so, the very fancy store I told you guys about. And I've been living in these champion slides, which I do have to say, champion, you make a good slide. This is a comfy slide, $16.99 at the TJ Maxx, so, okay? But I'm really excited. I'm going to put it on like Cinderella. Cinderella said, oh, oh, I don't want to get on that foot website anymore, but look at, look at guys, fits like a glove. Thank you, Annie, so, so, so much. I am so excited for my new slides. How cute are they? <gasps> Sorry, champions, you're going to take a little rest, plus you're red, so that's more of the holiday spirit. And being in the Palm Springs area, this is perfect. Yes, the print Gorgeous, 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 you guys. I think we all kind of live in slides in the Panacookin, you know? And I, I'm not above wearing socks with slides. I love a Birkenstock. The only shoe I haven't gotten into yet, but I think I'm going to get into, is the um, Croc. I used to think I was too cool for a Croc. I'm not. And with plantar fasciitis, this chick is not too cool for a Croc. So I definitely, I want those platform, um, what are they, uh, tie-dye Crocs. Everyone deserves a good croc. Uh, these, so the Champion slides, TJ Maxx on sale. These beautiful Adidas slides, uh, they have them available at adidas.com or also Amazon. Oh, thank you. Oh, they feel so good. New slides. There's nothing better. Wikifeet has entered the chat. I already have a Wikifeet profile, which you guys know. All right. So I think that is all my Amazon wish list. Now, I have... A very special gift. Now, do I got to drop a link for my good friend, Make It Make Sense? Is Make It Make Sense in the chat? Let me see. I got to. Um, let me see. I'm going to give him a you up because he sent me something. And it says to be opened live with Make It Make Sense. So I'm going to shoot him the link real quick and see if he can join me. And then we can open it up together because he took the time to send this my beautiful make it make sense aka fat phil let me just send him the link and uh see if he will join me here we'll give him a couple minutes and if we don't i don't know if i should just open it or not you guys will have to let me know um tracy said i'm obsessed with tie dye everything me too me too um are they aviva or adida they're adidas adidas uh, plantar fasciitis sucks, BJ. When I got it, I was in my 30s and I was like, don't 90 year olds get this? And they were like, no, you've worn bad shoes and your feet are getting flatter. That's that's who wears it. So no. Of course, Bonnie has tie dye Crocs because Bonnie is the coolest and has all the cool tats and red hair and stuff. Um, can you find that print at the Adidas store? I don't know. I haven't seen it. So when I saw it on Amazon, I immediately added it to my wish list because I haven't seen it. 
So it might be one that maybe was in style or, um, you know, how they do the early summer spring drop. I feel like this would be a spring drop because of the floral print. So go to Amazon because it's still there. Um, important question, slippers or slides? Slides. But I still am going to uh, the wonderful um, Jules. She sent me a great pair of Ugg slippers and I love them. And I've worn them to the point where now they're like so worn in um, that I might purchase myself another pair of these like slide Ugg um, sandal slippers. They're kind of fun. Um, yeah, there's nothing. I don't understand why you can't wear. I understand that it's a very Midwestern dad move in a lot of ways to wear socks with slides. But now that I see the Gen Z babies doing it, why can't? Why can't we do it? You know what I mean? I feel like if Ice Cube can do it and the Gen Z babies and Snoop Dogg can do it, then we can all do it. You know? So, yes, it says it's, yeah, it's going to come out September. I think I have a thing for that. September, spring, summer, like whenever I'm asked, when? Where would you find these slides I just got? There goes producer Tilly to her litter box um, in the bathroom. And uh, I usually say. Uh, probably more September. For uh, that is uh, spring, summer. September spring shows uh, spring, summer. That's what that's that's the uh, uh, correct answer. Yes. Hi, everyone. All right. I don't see. I thought I saw make it make sense in the. Oh, oh he's here. He's here. OK, I got to put on my headphones i gotta put in my airpods oh we just i'm looking at his crotch right now you guys are missing it he just had <laughs> wait <laughs> hi friend oh my gosh look at your beautiful kitchen wait did you get a crotch shot for real well i didn't see like your wiener i just saw your pants area your pantalones that's all what are you wearing mr fashionista <laughs> Wouldn't it be a fashionista? Yeah, Mr. Fashionista. I don't know. I don't. I'm not fancy. I don't know. Your kitchen is gorgeous, BT Dubs, and so oh, are you, thanks. and so is your outfit. Tell us everything. What are you wearing? Oh, uh, this is actually like a really cool online designer that's inexpensive. So it's called Six Silk. It's like based okay. out of London. They always have sales. I can let you know how to get an extra ten percent off. So they have sales for me. Is it just Definitely. men's stuff or? No, 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 no. I haven't purchased any women's clothes, but you could. <laughs> so handsome. Make it make sense. You I love how your make it make sense ho. Is this in support of Nosy Ho Live? It's definitely in support. I'm thinking about doing a video. Do we have any updates? Is our channel back? Um, no, the updates aren't good. She's saying that the lady who reported the Costco girl is now in jail. I don't know anything about this Costco girl. Uh, short story. There was a girl adopted by a white family. She looked to be a slave. They didn't put any like hair products in her hair. Um, and she was wearing like something straight up out of like 1800s. It, it looked bad. The optics weren't great. Supposedly oh somebody heard her say, you know, can I eat something? And the father was like, no, you're sick. You can't eat. But all the other kids are eating. I don't know. Um, I don't Why know. is she Costco girl? What's the relevance? They were of eating. They were eating in Costco. You know they've that good pizza. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know about the good pizza and the parfait. Mm-hmm. And, oh, and like yeah, enough. I mean it's all sugar. It's all yeah. sugar. Of course, of course. That's why I like it. That's why I like it. Oh my god! All right. Well, make it make sense. Home. I'm so sorry to hear that, and hopefully everything works out for everyone. But I did get your package, and it does say on it to be opened with make it make sense so i didn't want to open this without you sir so um i think you're gonna like it i think <laughs> i'm nervous I, it's because you always call me fancy so i was like let me uh hook jolene up with a little bit of fancy so <laughs> i don't have any fancy this shirt's from costco nana got it for me it's a dan skin from costco i love it i Me love too. a good tie-dye ink dot shirt thank you miranda was pointing out it has like evil faces on you can see two eyes and the nose and anyways uh, Miranda perfect. probably needs to go see somebody about that <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those splatter things like back in the day psychology they would show you what do you see in this picture and I'm like a t-shirt from Costco and Miranda's like evil I see evil right. it's a picture <laughs> of a heart 
Oh my like, gosh! What is all this? It's a full on package. <laughs> what? Oh my god, okay, so one at a time. Okay. Oh my gosh, good and gather black chia seeds. What do you talk to my husband? He likes no. a chia seed and stuff. I talked to Kathy Hilton. <gasps> of course, it's the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Kathy Hilton package. <gasps> chia seeds for my morning shakes where I have to have a straw. Got it. Um, okay, my is there any order? Do I have to? Is this something I have to read? You could read out it. Loud? It's fine. Okay. You could read it. It's cool. <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Just wanted to hook you up with a fancy pants starter kit since you like to call me fancy. You are fancy. Look at your kitchen. Um, P.S. This kit is Kathy Hilton and make it make sense approved. Oh, it's even tight. <laughs> Double space. Oh, God. It's so fancy. Mwah. And you get a little half kiss from me on there. Okay. <gasps> this lady is never off. <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is a sphere ice. Is this the ice things that they had? It's craft ice. You have to like it's you. It's essential. It's craft ice. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is sphere ice tray. So it's what the heck is craft ice? Um. So mm. I know you don't drink, right? But yeah. Um. Anytime you're doing your bubbly, you just have mm -hmm. craft ice. It's just so much more like it looks Kathy pretty. Hilton. It's yeah, Kathy Hilton ish. It is, and it looks fancy in the glass. So I could do a pour like Busy does for the extra ASMR with over this. Definitely. <laughs> so okay, so I don't want to. I kind of want. I sent Busy one. He he doesn't use it. What did he say? Now. <laughs> he said he had one, but it wasn't what oh I gave gosh. him. So I don't know. Okay. God, this is like. You. I feel like. These are like nipple covers or something. I don't know. Um, okay. She, she so, took it sexual, guys. <laughs> I have been doing that. So you pop it open and you put the water in here? No, you actually fill the water. You'll see like a little hole or the, the nipple. Okay, so the you nipple, keep yeah. You keep it closed. Um, and the, no, not, not, not like that. No. Okay. Not Wendy the Stallion. We're not, we're not Wendy the Stallion today. <laughs> Jolene the stallion. Mm -hmm. No, so you just you keep it closed. You fill it with water. It'll okay. it'll harden and it becomes a sphere. Then you just open it up. Like so, if you have company or if you want to feel fancy, it's essential. They're not expensive, and it's, it becomes like a party thing. Now, every time somebody comes to my house, they want craft ice. <laughs> I've, this is so fancy. Oh my gosh, these are the fanciest boobies I've ever <laughs> seen. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna use it on the next sip and key. Side okay, note, really quick, for anybody else interested in craft ice, um, only one refrigerator makes it, and it's like four grand. So it's a quick, easy way to save a lot of money, and anybody that comes to your house is now going to want you to serve them on craft ice. Wow. Liz has <laughs> put elderflowers in them. I'm not sure what that is with an elderflower. I, I feel like everyone's saying ice balls. Ice balls, yes. It's good for whiskey. <laughs> So if I ever know, well, I don't think Pipe Master Michelle ever drinks whiskey, but um, Jeannie initial or Janine initially thought they were for Kegels. You know about the Kegels, right? Make it make sense? I know that Porsche uses them all the time. Does that count? You can, you can Kegel with just, I can, I'll do a Kegel right now. I'm Kegeling. You're just tightening your areas. So now we've squeezer. got nipple talk and <laughs> baby door talk. <laughs> That's what you're going to get from the comedian. <gasps> oh, the fancy straws, Kathy Hilton style. These are actually on my Amazon list, but not these fancy ones. These came the from Neiman ones. because you deserve ne it. Neiman the Marcus? <laughs> Neiman and the Marcus? Yeah. I'm yeah, not they're... only the Marcus I can get it. I can't get into the Neiman. <laughs> Chell and I just walked by Neiman Marcus and we were, where were we? We're in Vegas and it was before my show and we were just, I was like, I need, I need booties. I need, I want little cute boots. I don't want to wear my Doc Martens, blah, blah, blah. And I, but I, right now they're not really in season. Um, they don't have the fall boots out yet. So he's like, should we check Neiman Marcus? And I was like, I don't think I have the pay level to go in there. <laughs> so now, well, now you, have, you have Neiman Marcus. Smells like money. They went like I think Kathy Hilton really did make them go out of stock because they were on back stock. So as soon as they arrived, they let me know, and I went down and picked them up. I didn't even wait. 
<laughs> These are Kathy Hilton straws. Oh my God. Wait, look at me. I'm I mean, like, how not, does this even they're open? Not, they're not her straw, but she drinks out <gasps> of them. Only. They're like gold. Yeah. <laughs> They're so pretty. Look at these. And we're helping mm -hmm. turtles and the environment. This is amazing. Are we, yeah, are we because you don't want to. Well, you don't want to use plastic straws anymore. Like in Cal well, you live in Texas, but California, you can't get any. You know what I mean? So oh. <laughs> I had no idea. I just like the fact that they were gold. Yeah, no, they're like you mm. you can't use they, they won't give you straws, they'll give you paper straws. Plastic is very, very bad right now. Look at this beautiful straw. And actually, I don't really know where you live. So I just made up that you live in the South. So I apologize. I don't really know where you live. I just was like, I think you live in Arizona. So um, you live in Florida. Florida doesn't care about that kind of stuff. They just don't. So I'm not conservative enough for Florida. Am I close? You live in <laughs> South Carolina. I'm heaven. from heaven. Okay. So, so yeah, oh, these are so cute. And then you got your little cleaner. Because I wanted some straws, but I definitely put just like Amazon ones on my list. I didn't put on fancy gold. And then you can, you know. <laughs> well, guys, I was like, wait, I have to send Jolene straws and chia seeds. <laughs> like you just, it, it had to happen. <laughs> wait till Nana sees. Oh, my gosh. Uh, do you know that after our conversation then, I got a P.O. box? I did see that on that Because you were like the hundredth person to be like, why don't you have a PO box? I can't send you anything. I can't send you product. I can't send you anything unless you're willing to give your address away. And you know, he doesn't want some free gifts. My history of giving or people finding out my address. So this is so generous <laughs> and funny and hilarious. And I feel so <laughs> fancy. Look how fancy I am now. Like, I feel like I'm better than everybody. Look at this. You are. Kathy Hilton approves of the message. Oh my Gosh, make it make sense. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Are you doing are you doing a video, everyone? Make sure you guys go sub to make it make sense. Um, feel free mods drop uh, make it make sense in the um, am I supposed to be calling you Mims? You can call me whatever you want, as long as you subscribe. Drop <laughs> Mims um, channel in the uh, in the chat so everyone can go sub because you were you hit well well over a hundred and you were growing. I'm at like 152 and I'm going to start singing Mariah Carey. Why are you so obsessed with me? Why are you so obsessed with me? I yes, I got, I, I got your favorite person, Lucy, singing that song. <laughs> because I, I changed the one part lying that you're I'm sexy to me. I, li I said lying that you're texting me. I changed it to that. <laughs> So she could sing it because we went to the park when I was back in Minnesota and there was a boy that was just like following her around. I go, you need to go up to him and be like, why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. <laughs> so now she sings it. Uh, yeah. Mims is such a great guy. <laughs> Handsome, smart, funny, all the good stuff. But what what's on your what's on your docket for, for videos you have coming up? Um, we got to talk Lizzo. Like in my core, I'm Lizzo. <laughs> So when I heard okay. that people were like giving her a hard time they about were. just doing everything else, everything that her peers are doing, I was like, I got to talk about it. Like, how do you, like, I saw so many people that could be considered plus size saying, why does she have that on? Why is she twerking? Well, why does Cardi B twerk? Why does Beyonce twerk? Why does anybody still twerk? Still having that conversation. I heard, I saw a lot of people saying that she was sad fishing in a lot of ways because um, she comes out and is very like body positive. But then around the time that her song with Cardi B dropped, rumors or whatever, uh, then she went live. So they thought it was a promotional type stunt thing because she was, I think, came out and was very transparent. But I feel like Lizzo's always been so open about her feelings. And as much as, anyone uh, in the public says i'm i'm totally fine with it i'm secure at lizzo's level it's gonna get to you right when well, she's, are... doing the, she's doing the we won't say he who won't be named but it's the same core person he's back no he's i don't want to know i don't want to know <laughs> I, don't wanna, I didn't hear it oh, he has an intro he's back um, he's back no. <laughs> sorry go ahead uh, i just think that if I were his friend, if I were Lizzo's friend, I would tell them, why are you focused so much on the negative comments? Like, you don't have to do that. It doesn't make any sense. Protect your energy, like Nosy says. 
that's what I would do. But, you do. Um, you do have to. You do have to protect your energy. You do have to be very cognizant of what you let leak in because people, as you grow, as you whatever in life, as you seem to be thriving on whatever level, they'll find a way to want to get involved and clout chase that, or they'll find a way to tear you down. And so that's why you have to just pay them dust. Block. Like when, block. Yeah, block. Delete. Don't unfollow. Reply. I took time this morning. I was blocking people. We have a new friend coming at me and busy. And so, um, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. Well, I, I invite them all. <laughs> At 152 subscribers. Go sub uh, to make it make sense. <laughs> if you love us, hate us, go sub to make it make sense. So you're going to talk about Lizzo. Lizzo, we got to talk about um, Lisa Renna Pimp and her daughters, allegedly. Oh, allegedly. <laughs> of course, allegedly. Uh, got to talk about Sutton, my new queen, my new white queen. You did always <laughs> love Sutton. You did. I did not always love Sutton. I was I definitely feel like you did. Crystal. I was team Crystal when it came to Oh yeah, 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 you're right. You're that right, you're situation. Right. I was calling Sutton driving Miss Daisy. But um now I thought you and I had a conversation where you were like Okay, now I'm remembering. I'm remembering. All right, got it. Got it. But um yeah, no, and then I'm definitely cuz I'm not monetized, I can show video clips. I'm definitely going to show a video clip of that lady who is Dorit's doppelganger from bringing down the house. <laughs> How, how do people not see that? The one with a fake accent. The one that said, oh, we've always had colored people working for <gasps> us. And we treat them like family. When we finished eating, Papa would scrape up all of the leftover food and serve it to her. In fact, there was a song that they used to sing. Mama, that... is Massa gonna sell us? <laughs> how do you not see the... That is the no. exact doppelganger hey. to Dorit. Yes, that is so, it's so <clears throat> crazy. That is so true. At When Dorit sat at that dinner and thought she was doing something by saying, my children are surrounded by so many beautiful people of color who work for us. And then Garcelle's like, so you have no black friends? Oh, my mother's best friend is black. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it was... Uh, so crazy. You I do mean, realize that we got labeled a, the R word. And so she decided to label Garcelle a bully. Like it was just, it was school yard fighting one-on-one. You label me, I'm gonna label you. Yep. She was <laughs> reaching. And I just feel like that was so responsible, irresponsible of Dorit to push that bully word forward when obviously we know she came in and there was definitely um, intent behind it. She came in with an agenda, uh, just like you said, because she was called the R word. And um, but with how serious bullying is and all all Garcelle was doing is holding her accountable to her actions the previous time they all hung out and her words. And she was we just like so much to discuss. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. And, and Garcelle's like, no, that's not what you said. And she's like, oh, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. It's like, how can someone's words of calling you out really hurt you that much? If that was the case, I would be hurt all the time by the things people say. Do you know? I mean, okay. especially in your PK. PK? I could vomit. I could vomit. <laughs> I, I just want to do a segment where we're like, if you felt that was a jab, Let's go ahead and I want my subscribers to let me know what a Dorit jab would be like. If, if it were me, I wouldn't survive on one of these shows because the first thing I would say was, you want you want to be jabbed? Um, have you paid your creditors? That's a jab. <laughs> have you, that poor woman that followed you to the Bahamas and chased you in your yellow bikini that never got on the show, which should have been and be like, Dorit, Dorit, are you going to pay back? And Dorit was like, I don't know what she's talking about. And her and Lisa Renner, remember when that clip came out and we never got to see it in a season, but I'd be the same way. Like, are you going to pay the people that you owe money to? I would, a jab would be, why is it that you don't look like your pictures on Instagram? That would be a jab. Like, <laughs> I don't think these people would like me. I mean, Erica would definitely hate me because I would be, I would be remixing her song on live. Like we, she would be sitting next to me, and I would be like, mm, "How many bucks did I steal?" 
20, 20, 25 mil. <laughs> no, for real. Like Erica, um, what did I did a to be me? It's a legal to be me. <laughs> no, when she had her um her intro come out, you know, her housewife's tagline come out. I think I was like, I did one, I can't remember it now, but it was something about leans. Oh, I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you how I got these leans. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, it's kind of, I think that would have been a better one for her. They would but. not survive on another cast. They would not survive on another cast at all. They can't even handle Crystal or Garcelle calling them out in the slightest on anything. Mm -hmm. And just basic like understanding of someone else's experience. They're just like, I mean, the fact that Kev Hilden's like, Michael Jackson said that he didn't see color. So point proven. <laughs> I was like, Kathy, I love you, but miss, just listen to Garcelle and what she's saying. We are all equal. We're all equal. Right? Anybody? Not everybody gets served, uh, you know, crackers and the fanciest chicken salad on their TV tray by one of their seven maids. What? Huh? We're not all equal. Kyle, <laughs> don't talk about our mother. You know, it's just like, who's honky dory? Uh, we're not all equal. <laughs> I was so prepared not to like Kathy. I had already had a name for her. I was just going to call her Bruce. <laughs> Bruce is available. <laughs> Why this Bruce? Not, because she reminds me of Caitlyn, but I couldn't call her Caitlyn. So I would just Got call it. her Bruce. Does okay. she not give you Bruce? Am I am I alone? I mean Caitlyn. Caitlyn. Um, I don't I mean, all rich white ladies who have their face pulled like this look like Caitlyn or Kathy. The, I kind of feel voice? like what's yeah, and the vo well, the voice too, it's a little um yeah, there's a little more bass, you know, all about that bass, no treble. So, um, <laughs> Mims does look great. Yeah, I, I, I always thought, thought that those ladies, when they get those, they all look like lions for some reason. I don't know. It's like they get the king of the jungle surgery when they get those facelifts and all that. It's they always look like lions to me. But that's I love Kathy, but I'm pretty sure Rick is totally stepping out and she's totally oblivious to it. I don't even think she would care at this point. Kathy's gotta be maybe some edibles she's in cali maybe a little zaniac i don't know i'm no i'm just speculating here allegedly but there's got to be some other maybe it's a little wine but she looks she's her she's pretty chill she's now you chill. now you're giving her barbara walters <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am i haven't like perfected my kathy hilton um impression and i do love her on the show so far so great much needed but um yeah Oh, there's, wait, I think uh, I am giving you a little crunch action. Sorry. We're not complaining. We're going to put your straws in front of it. <laughs> yes, Jennifer, they're all going for the Simba look. You know what I mean? Um, and impersonate all of the... I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get better about that. Back in the day on my Married to Bravo Instagram, I used to do a lot more impression videos. I'd do a face swap, which I do now for Big Brother, where I just put their faces over mine. Mm -hmm. And um, I did that with Dorit a lot and Erica Jane. I used to love to impersonate them. Did we talk offline about my idea about a table read? No, but I love a table read. I totally think we should start doing impersonations of like the most iconic uh, yes. table fights. Yes. On the Housewives. I'm like, here. Me, you, busy. Like, I'm here for it. I am here for it, sir. The psychiatrist lady, too. I love her. <gasps> Yes, we can get legally yes. Leah. <laughs> oh, <Her> legally <laughs> Leah will kill it, and we can bring people in. I think that sounds really fun for parodies because when we parodied, speaking of shout out to Nosy Hole Live, when we parodied one of the most iconic YouTube things to happen, uh, Monica, whatever, or Monique Tolbert, and then um, So Deb and Nosy Ho, and then you're Monica, you're Monica. And when So Deb came on, and me and we, I loved parodying that. Um, so I'm in for some housewives parroting because I feel like there's less of a chance we'll get sued <laughs> with these suing YouTubers out here. So people it looks like people are here for that. And Jam says, take the straws away. LOL. <laughs> Don't sexually harass <laughs> Mims. 
He's never going to come back. Um, Romel says, in my opinion, this is the best season of Beverly Hills. Way better than the puppy BS. Yes. From years ago, Atlanta better come through next season because Beverly Hills is better than NYC. It's not the best. The, the best season, hands down, of Beverly Hills was the Amsterdam fight. That just made the entire season. Kim Richards is Beverly oh, Hills. Don't talk about my husband. She's like, I'm going to talk about the husband. Can we get Kim to come back? I know there's some things that people are, like, speculating about what's going on with her, and there's the book and all that. But can't we get all three of the sisters or just kick off Kyle and get Kathy and Kim? I cannot stand Kyle. Kyle comes across Kyle as, like, fan. the wannabe. She's the wannabe. She really is. She's Where the, the other two oh. are at least <laughs> she's the Tracy Max. At least the other two are being who they are. Whether it's you know Kim and her addiction, Kim out of her her addiction. I feel like her personality is quirky. She's a child star. She wasn't going to escape this you know normal and healthy. They never do. Um, and then Kathy, she's very quirky, and we find that a lot of these people with tons of money tend to be that way. You know. So um, she ordered chia seeds and straws and expected them. Like you can't. <laughs> I didn't know what a chia seed was. I want to be Kathy when I grow up. I want to be Kathy when I grow up. My husband puts chia <laughs> seeds and a whole bunch of stuff for us because it's supposed to help us with something. It gels. I have or no something. idea what that know. is. It's a, it's, I I'm, don't know, fibers. I'm black. I had to look that up. Look at the hell is a chia seed. But I want them if Kathy has them. Right. If Kathy Hilton has it, we want it. All right. Well, um, I will let you get going, but let's talk offline and let's talk about that. Um, I'm going to end the live with you here with me, but um, let's talk about that. Cause I think that table read and recreating like parroting um, big moments from housewives would be iconic. And I'm totally down for that. So let's definitely make that. I happen. never liked you. I never <laughs> liked you I never from liked your you. face to your hair, to your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about the husband just like oh my god we're not just like Let's talk about everything the and then kyle's like <laughs> when kyle took off i okay really really quick <laughs> kyle from that season on have you noticed she's super animated at all of these table things it, she's a walking meme she's a gif. i think do you see doing it on purpose or is she's that really her no she knows that, that, that will get her screen time mm -hmm. similar to um What's her name? I want to call her Alaska because some of the roasters call her Alaska, but from Potomac, what's her name? Uh, she's new. Escalade. She's a friend of the show. What is her name? Escalade. Escalade. I don't think it's, es I don't think it's Escalade. I don't think it's Escalade. <laughs> and it's not Alaska. Ascala. Ascala. Thank you. Ascala. But Ascala gives great faces. Great faces. Similar to what Kyle's doing. But Kyle's is very calculated in that. I think she knows she can be shady and be, and she'll get screen time like, like when Garcelle said F U F that they acted like they had never heard the words. Can we shut up? You are on the housewives. You have all told each other to F off sideways, this way, that way, and the other. Let's not pretend we're too good for a little F behind her here. <gasps> oh my God. How dare I'm you? I'm hurting. How dare you? <laughs> all right, you guys. Um, well, everyone go sub to make it make sense. And let's make uh, all this housewife stuff make sense. That's what we will make sense. I'm gonna um, <laughs> we're going to try and look for his Lizzo video coming out. Thank you, everyone, for the fantastic stuff. My P.O. box is in the description. Sub to make it make sense. Thank you for all the gifts. You guys are ridiculously thoughtful and kind and Thank you guys so, so much. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. And yes, most definitely protect your energy. Bye. <laughs> Bye.